the women's suffrage petition argued for, rejected, refused three times before it even got there. People saying, no, this is a ridiculous idea. Why would women ever want to vote? This will wreck the parliament, etc. And then finally the weight of agitation, organisation, and the argument is there. And I was so excited when I found my maternal grandmother's family all signing the page from Waironga Mai Loop in Te Aroha. On my dad's side, I'm a Tainui princess. <laughs> and on my mum's side, I'm a suffragette. Um, yeah. It was presented in September. They collected these names in winter. The logistics of keeping these pieces of paper safe, of believing in them enough. I'm a direct descendant of Jenny and William Lovell Smith, and they had lots of children, I think they had nine children or probably more, um, and they were instrumental, well William Lovell Smith and his sister were instrumental in setting up the, um, the Christchurch Women's Christian Temperance Union. The pre-literate women who signed with their fingerprints and the petitioner wrote their names for them. And then Kate Shepherd came along and she was a great um, voice, voice for the movement and you know she got things going. And so she lived with the Lovell Smith family and after my great, 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 whatever grandmother passed away, she ended up marrying my great, 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 great grandfather and she became Auntie Katie. O te tahi whenua paku paku nei o te ao. Hi. Me whakahi hi tātou mm. ki tērā āhuatanga i whakāro nui uh, arā kē tātou kei mua i te ao whānui e whakāro ana uh, he uh, whakāro anō tō te wahine he rereke i tāna tāne. I'm absolutely hugely grateful for the fact that those women fought for the vote for New Zealand women and I'm extremely proud that New Zealand was the first country to grant women the vote it was a hard fought battle and they persisted and I'm very proud and feel very humble that I have that legacy. These are dramatic histories and they gave people you know, power that was very considerable, the power to vote. And I feel that I have responsibility going forward to ensure that I also can have an impact in ensuring women have equality in New Zealand. But we're not there yet unfortunately.